This video is going to be about monomers and polymers. So I've drawn over here just a simple molecule to kind of help us illustrate this concept. So monomers are going to be the small individual pieces that we put together to make a bigger molecule, which is called the polymer. So each one of these circles is going to represent one monomer that we're stringing together to make this larger molecule. So now we're going to look at how we put these monomers together. So this is done through a uh, dehydration reaction or a condensation reaction, which is two, two ways of saying the same thing. Condensation because we're condensing two pieces into one, and dehydration because it occurs with the loss of a water molecule. So to kind of demonstrate how that happens, so we have this small string of monomers right here, and we're going to add one more to it. So we see that on the end of this molecule, we have a hydrogen, and on the end of this monomer, we have a hydroxyl group. And so what will happen is these two will come together to make a water molecule that will then leave, and that allows this whole thing to be connected together. And so the same kind of process happens when you're taking a polymer and breaking it up into its monomers. Uh, that's called a hydrolysis reaction. So what happens is you'll take a water molecule again, and you'll add it to the bond that you want to break. And when you do that, that'll make this go back to this simpler molecule with this last monomer broken off. So in cells, these processes are often done by enzymes. So enzymes are just going to be uh, large proteins in our cells that help to speed up chemical reactions to help them uh, take place at a rate that's actually going to be useful for our cells and for our bodies. And so both of these processes uh, are going to be assisted by enzymes in the cells. And so just to review one final time, to put monomers together to make a polymer, we do a dehydration synthesis or a condensation reaction where you lose a water molecule to put two monomers together. And then to break a bond within a polymer and to break it up into monomers, you're going to do a hydrolysis reaction. So you'll add a water molecule to that bond and break it apart back into its monomers. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu tutoring. Thank you.